So in terms of what are the new advances in uh, the treatment of locally advanced head and neck cancer, I think there's a huge amount of interest at the moment if we can consider surgery as a form of targeted therapy. It's a local regionally aggressive therapy. We're seeing really a resurgence of the use of surgery in patients with oropharyngeal carcinomas. Um, we've seen recently the feasibility of this approach um, from Bob Ferris's study in the US demonstrating uh, really outstanding outcomes for patients with the pr prospect of potentially reducing radiation doses post-surgery, and even perhaps omitting platinum-based chemotherapy. And we await confirmatory studies in order to confirm that that is a possibility. But I think that's a strong direction of travel. We heard data around the use of proton beam radiotherapy, another very physically targeted form of radiotherapy, which I think is of outstanding interest. And again, a number of clinical trials ongoing in that area that may demonstrate benefit not just in terms of toxicity outcomes, but also potentially even allowing us to add targeted drugs alongside that very conformal radiotherapy for tumor control benefit. And then in the relapsed metastatic setting, we heard again about the potential role of stereotactic body radiotherapy, addressing things like oligometastatic disease or oligoprogressive disease, and really a potential paradigm shift coming there, whereby we may begin to think about some patients with early metastatic disease as being potentially curable. So I think there's a lot of opportunities there. Um, we heard updates around a number of the studies that have been done in relapsed metastatic disease with immune checkpoint inhibitors, but not a great deal of very new data in that area. And I think one area that's particularly interesting, again, an area that I reviewed in my presentation, is around a non-immune checkpoint inhibitor-based uh, immunotherapy in the form of something like a SMAC mimetic. So the drug um, Savinapant or the Dubio 1143 drug which again, the Gore-Tec group has recently demonstrated in a randomized phase two study, study with chemo radiation, was yielding really outstanding progression-free survival and overall survival benefits. And that now has gone into a phase three study, the so-called trilink study. So lots of activity, lots of new opportunities in targeted therapy.